Hello YouTube and welcome to another week of Pro Hamster Care collab. collab. So this week we're doing species and I have male Syrian hamster, short haired. So we're going to take a look at Jack. We're gonna have some lighting. And just for the record, he got his new rodent wheel today, so he's excited. He's been running all evening. So this is his one wheel there, that's his old wheel, which is rubbish. Jack. Could we have you as a model, please? Elise, come on. Here he comes. He knows that when I stop the wheel, he's supposed to come out. Here he is. So it's very easy to tell the difference between male and female Syrian hamsters, of course, since you, the testicles on the Syrian hamsters are very visible, as you can see here. So there will be a large bump by the testicle area, and that indicates that it is a male that you have. And well, if the tail area is just flat, that means it's a female. So there's not really much to it. But the difference between female and male Syrians, it's mostly that the male can be a bit calmer and a bit more cuddly. But honestly, I personally believe that that's not really the case. It's just a case of personalities because Jack is really hyper and he just doesn't sit still very long. So I think it's just a personal preference. But And uh, males doesn't smell that much. But females can smell about every third day when they're going to heat, and males doesn't do that. <clears throat> There's not much to it, really. And short-haired hamsters, they don't really need any care. But if you, your hamster has like a bit of a half long, half short, which Jack has, it's not really like really short. It's not really that. Mine it's not long, it's not short. Jack, where are you going? So he needs a bit of a brush sometimes, so just use the regular cat brush because sometimes he can have a real bed head or else he doesn't really need that much care but a sand bath every once in a while. So that's the male Syrian hamster. And thanks for watching.